what worked as far as finding those dialogues with decision makers and generating interest and then finally getting the job offer? So I think one of the pieces that you, there's two points that I think when I was watching your videos and when I was engaging with you and, and, and I think first of all, the, whatever you do, personalize the message, right. understand that um, there are hundreds, if not thousands of South Africans that are at this moment actually spamming any type of employer in New Zealand or any type of recruiter. And so if you are not going to put in the time to um, um, understand who the person is that you are reaching out to, you are just going to land up in a heap of CV. So I think that was a, and you kept saying it repeatedly, but I think I also had to go through that to realize that you give a lot of feedback on, uh, you know, so, so, um, you know, you would kind of go through questions and then you would give feedback on how the, my answer came across. Um, and and I, so I took a lot of notes from that, you know, so you would highlight, because obviously, obviously everyone, when you go for an interview, you are so nervous. So you, you have all these answers in your head, but you kind of forget half of them. Um, so I think the one thing you did was you kind of summarized in a feedback message to me as well to say, highlight these five things. Um, and I'd kind of written them down. I made sure that in each one of my discussions, even if I forgot everything else, those five things or whatever they were that that came through. I think that's the one thing. I think the second thing that was very valuable is it's mock interviews. Um, and you prepare us for what can be expected. Um, I think that no person ever has enough experience. You know, you only go for interviews when you're looking for a job. And that might only be if you're lucky three or four times in your life um, and trends change as well so I think um, my sessions with you made me gain in confidence um, so in in my case like I said before so I'd applied for a role they rejected I reached out to this hiring manager who then actually passed my CV along to one of the partners at this particular firm. He called me about two days later and made it very clear there is no role, but uh, there's some interesting stuff in my CV. Can they just have a chat? Uh, and that led to another interview two days later with chairman of the board and the CEO, and it turned into we are creating a role based on the skill set. Um, there were some questions they asked that I, I wasn't prepared for, and I would want to, people to be prepared for that. So the obvious question always is, why would we go for you when we have a whole country full of New Zealanders? We have to prove to immigration that you are the best. Why would we do that effort? So you have to believe in yourself. And Tate, you did help me prepare um, some pointers that I could use for that answer. So that definitely helped. So they had kind of made a tentative offer, but said, listen, when you come here, come spend a day with our team. And so I had the opportunity to meet the executive team um, and see if it's a cultural fit, both from their point of view and mine. I saw the offices. Uh, I got to meet the people that I'm going to be working with, which really made me, I'm sitting here and I know where my desk is going to be. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, so, yes, it is very costly. It was not a cheap exercise because I funded it. You know, it's your flights, it's your accommodation, um, but it's absolutely worth it um, because you are uprooting your whole life. You are selling all your property, your cars, everything. Um, and now I know exactly where I'm going to be. It definitely helps with the whole process.